This is Gemari Kitin Daf Nun Bees, and we begin a new Mishnah, a new Sugya, a little bit of a continuation, as we'll see in a moment. We're holding at the top line of Nun Bees, Amin Alev says the Mishnah. The reason that it's continuation at some level is because, as we're going to see, these are similar things that are there, Mitnei Takonas Ha'ilam. Says the Mishnah, Yisayimim Shesamchu Eitzel Balabais. Yisayimim, excuse me, orphans that rely on a Balabais to do what? Says Rashi, Lastly, Zalpiv, to manage their affairs. But they were not an appointed apetropist, neither by their father nor by Bezdin, but still, ke'apetropisu. Meaning, if it's a real din of an apetropist, as we'll see, that's one thing. But over here, is that a real din of apetropist? They're being saimich on this person. Oi, or case number two, is shemino lem avin apetropist. Their father indeed appointed them as an apetropist. What is the din? Chayiv laser beiroi seihem. These apetropists or the self-appointed apetropists have an obligation to do what? To tith, to, ab- to take off miser from their fruits. What is the tikkun oilam? So that the Yisayimim aren't eating treif. Apetropists, I mean, Avi and Yisayimim, and apetropists that the father appointed Yeshava. Dumb number two, what does he have to do? He has to swear. Minuhu Bezdin. But if Bezdin appointed them, then lo Yeshava, they do not swear. Abasha Allahimer, Chilavadvarim. That what? Appointed by Bezin, you swear. Appointed by the Father, you do not swear. As we will see in the Gemara, what exactly is going on over here? Says the Gemara Vereminu. We started off the Mishnah teaching that the Apotropos has an obligation to take off Chumas and Maestris for the Yisoyimim. Asks the Gemara, says in the Pasig, Atem, you take off my serve, Loi Shotvim, and not if your partner is Atem, Loi Arisem, you are not a sharecropper, Atem, Loi Apetropin, that's the Kasha, now Apetropis cannot take off my serve, Loi Aterin, Eshein, Eshelein, and not if someone takes off something that's not theirs. So how can the Mishnah say that they're obligated, they're not even allowed to take off my serve? Answers the Gemara, Merav Chista, Loi Kasha. A fundamental din. The Mishnah said they have to take off. They have to take off meiser is when to feed the orphans. Kan laniach is when they're storing away the produce that the uh, Yisayimim are going to eat later on in life. Veha tanya. And as Rashi again always points out, whenever Vatani is not a kasha, but rather a raya, says Rashi, bini chusa. Vatanya, bring your raya. Apetrop in tarim in umaisri, and apetrop in think of chumas and maisis lahachil. Veloy leoniach, exactly the way that we just said. And now, once we quote one part of a brisa, we quote the rest of it. That what else does an apetrop is do? Moichon and behima. They, the Apotropists, can sell Behema, Avadim, Shvachais, Avatim, Sadais, Ukranim. They can sell all these entities that belong to the Yisraelim. Why are they selling them again? So that they have food to eat, but not so that they'll have money later on in life. And they as well can sell for them All these entities as well, they could sell in order that the Yisraelim have what they need to eat. Aval, however, not to save up money for later on in the Yisayman's life. And now we are on the first, uh, last narrow line. Similarly, continues the rice of Aisin Lahan Lulav. The Abachabis could prepare for them a Lulav, a Rav, a Sukkah, Tzitzis, Vachal, Davar, Shiesh, Loi, Kitzva. Anything that has a limit, what does it mean has a limit? It means there's a limiting cost. It's not something that could be astronomical. There's a cap on such a thing. La Asuye, who comes to include Shaifer, which it comes to include that the Abachabis could as well prepare for the Yisaymim a Shaifer. Asks the Gemara, no, excuse me, not asking where. Continues the Brisa. Ve'loich and then say for Terry, they borrow from them. Say for Terry, it's filling them with zuzus. Hold up, she's like kids. Ve'lasuye, what does that come to include? Megillah. Ve'in pais kena le'em sedaka. But what is that job? Is not allowed to do. Not let a pledge. Not let a give sedaka on their behalf. Ve'in pais kena le'em as a shvi, and they cannot use the money of the assignment to get someone out of jail. Of local davar she ain't low kids because these are entities that do not have a limit. Lasuye, ten chun me avelim. They used to give money for the avelos to buy them food and whatnot. Wine. Vein Abu Chabb and Shayin Ladun. And Abu Chabbis is not allowed to judge a case, whether for 
that you're going to win or lose. But nearly you say, says Gemara, one second, listen, is my lie? Why can't they educate a case that the Yisraeli are going to win? Allah Chayv al Minas, listen, it means a case that they're going to lose, and eventually it's going to turn out to be a benefit. Nearly you say, Nabi Shabbos is not going to make such a decision. And continues the Brais, so five lines down into the Dinam of Abba Shabbos. Vein Abba Shabbos in Roshayin Limkar Berach, like Vilikla Bekarayv. He's not allowed to sell a, a piece of land that is far away and redeem something which is close by. Bira, he's not allowed to sell something that is bad. Illegal biyafa and redeem it with something that is good. Says in my time, well, why not? The Dilma Mishtatvim. You know why? Because maybe it's going to come wind damage, meaning each field has its own unique place, and you can't start trading locations, even if it's at this moment seemingly good. They're not allowed to sell fields and buy a servant for the Yisraelim. Aval, what are they yes allowed to do? They're allowed to buy fields for. The Yisaimim, Rashbag, Oimer, says to Shimon Gamliel, Afloy Limkar, Avodim Likach Sadis, they can't even do that. My time, ah, Dilma, Loi, Mishav, Mishpayon, perhaps it won't be still literally. What does that mean? That means that someone else might come and collect this field, and then the Yisaimim are going to be left with nothing. What else is Abba Chabbos now? And as everyone's starting to get the feeling, the common thread is that which is a pure taiva, pure hatava, that you, they could do for the assignment, but it's something that already has a potential, has an element, maybe down the line or right now, that will not turn out to be absolutely positive, then they are not allowed to do for the Yisayimim. They cannot uh, take out literally free avadim to freedom. They can sell them to other people. Rabbi Oimer, Rabbi says, Oimer, I say, that the slave can give the value of himself. And the Yitzin will go free, meaning he can give the Apatropos his own value and thereby acquire his own freedom. What's the reason why the Evid is allowed to do that? Because that's as if, it's as if he's selling him. And the need continues to praise that Apatropos must make a cheshbin with the Yisaymim at the end. When the Yisaymim turn of age, they have to account and then they have to make a shvua that they did nothing wrong, they didn't retain any of their properties, etc. Rashbag, Oimer, Sezer, Shem, Gamliel, Einayt, Sarech. No, Apatropos does not have to make such a cheshbin when the Yisaymim turn of age. And continues the praise. We do not, so those were the dinim of what Apatrapas could do. Now, who is allowed to be an Apatrapas? Says the Braisa, a very long and lengthy Braisa. A woman, slaves, or children cannot be an Apatrapas. But if the father decided that he wanted a woman, a kid, or a slave to be an Apatrapas, he's allowed to do such. And that is the end of this very long and lengthy Braisa. Now, the Gemara continues where. Approximately, I would say, 25, 30 lines in the bottom. The first word on the line is, Ha'hu apachapas. Smack in the middle of these very large lines on Nun Bezam and Aleph. Says the Gemara, Ha'hu apachapas. It wasn't apachapas. David Bishu Visa Drameir. That was in the neighborhood of Rameir. David Kamizav and Ara. What was his apachapas doing? He was selling land of the Yisayimim. Vizav and Avdi. And he was buying Avadim with the money. And Rameir did not allow him to continue doing this, to sell the land and buy the Avadim, which we saw a moment ago was not allowed. We saw they could, one sheet to hell, they could sell the Avadim and buy land, but everyone conclusively agreed that they could not sell the land to buy Avadim. Achvu lei b'chelma. Achvu lei, they showed to him, referring to the Bezdin Shalmaila, showed to Rameir the following. Ani lohiris. The Atalib Nois, I Hashem am trying to destroy, and you are trying to build. So, what does Rameir see in the dream? That Hashem, whatever this means, is trying to harm the harm, harm the Yisayimim, and Rameir is not allowing them. So, I feel Ochi, and even yet, Loy Ashkach. Still, Rameir still didn't let it. And everyone's wondering, Rameir, how can you not listen to the Bezin Shalmaylah? Omar, he said, We've got to follow Allah in the world of Allah. Dreams are inconsequential. A fascinating, fascinating story, perhaps as well. We could say, etc. There were two people that the Sultan regularly would be inciting them. Every Friday night, they would fight. 
Ekler Rameir Lasam Rameir went there. Akvinu to Lasa Veisha Masha and Rameir hung out there three Friday nights at the Avrale Shalma until they made peace because the Satan wasn't there because the Rameir was there and they were able to make peace. Shame de Kamar and he heard the Satan saying, Voy the Avke Rameir la Ukavra mi Beise. Woe is Rameir has removed that man referring to the Satan from his house, bringing out the incredible Kayach of Rameir. And we continue the two dots. Ahu Abachabis. There was an Abachabas, David Shabisa, there was Shuvan Levi, who is now in the town, the neighborhood of Shuvan Levi, then we come to Zavin Ara, who is selling land. And what was he doing with the proceeds? It's Zavin Tura. He was buying oxen, Vlamar Levi, Vlai Midi. And what happened if Shuvan Levi did not say anything to him? So I like Rav Yesi. Why? Shuvan Levi, I like Rav Yesi, the town we learned in Avraisa. Amar Rav Yesi, Miyamai. In my life, loy karisi le ishti ishti le shayri shayri. I never called my wife my wife, and my shar my shar. Rather, el ishti basi. I called my wife my house. Ule shayri sada, and he called my ox my field because he held that the ox was the mainstay of his field. So Shuban Levi agreed, and therefore had a din of a sada, and that's the reason why he allowed this apatropis to sell the avadim and buy a shar, buy an ox, because as a din of a field. Says the Gemara, another story, Anu Yasmi, there was these assignment, 20 lines down, first one line is Yasmi. Tavi Smichi Gabi Safta, who were lying on a certainly elderly woman, and she managed their affairs. Havle Turte, Havle Turta, they had a cow. Shakla, she took the cow, Vizimna, Nihalayu, and she sold it for them. Also, Kuraivim, like I the Ram Nachman, the relatives came to Ram Nachman, Amru, Leimaya, Vidita. What's going on over there, Dezavna? That she's selling the property of the Yisaimim, who said she could do that? Amru, Lo, Yisaimim, Shesam, Lo, Eta, Balabayis, Tanan, Ardin, and Armishta, even if you don't appoint. But if you're Saimich on her, if you're Saimich on the Abba Chabbos, that's enough. That gives the Abba Chabbos the power to do what's necessary. Asks the Gemara, one minute. Vayakar. But the ox, the cow, excuse me, has gone up in value. And therefore, they were saying the Yisaimim should get that value. Says the Gemara, what do you mean? Bereshut Zilokeach, the Yakar went up in the possession of the purchaser. Allah in the Kiti Dami. But the Yisaimim did not take money, meaning they transferred it that the Buyer was supposed to pay at a later date. So says the Gemara, the assignment, the relatives signed it are entitled to that cash. If that's true, Amar Shmuel, that what? This person bought the cow and didn't pay yet, then it's like this day. That what? And they're only purchased with kaspa, with cash. And therefore, if the purchaser did not actually pay for the animal yet, therefore it is considered that it is still in the possession of the Yisayimim, and they're going to get the benefit, they're going to get the revach, that the animal went up in value. Continues the Gemara, Chamrei Dirabana. There were those who bought the wine of Rabbana Ukva Yasmi Mashchucha. So the ones who bought the wine of Rabbana Ukva, who was a Yasa Mashchua, they took the wine into their possession. Bar bar ba, for the price of four zuz a barrel. The Akir went up in value. The Kambi Shita Shita now it's worth six zuz a value. Also, the Kibbutz of Nachman, the Kibbutz of Nachman. Amar lo, I need Rav Chanan Leib Aridi. This is the same thing Rav Chanan Leib Aridi. Don't Rav Chanan Leib Aridi. Rav Shmuel Nachsay Yisaimim Marik Yaktish Lo Magni El Abe Kasp. Because they didn't pay, the Yisaimim are going to be the ones to gain. Continues the Gemara with more dinim of the property of Yisaimim. We are eight lines from the bottom of the Beis Amid Aleph at the two dots. Moshoch a peiri peiri miyasmi. When one draws the peirois, the fruits, the produce from the Yisaimim. And he didn't pay it yet. If the fruit goes up in value, that's what we keep on seeing. That's the dinner of Chani Leibar Eidi. That what? That if that the only way you are kind of, excuse me, I'm sorry, their page just shrunk. The only way that you are kind of these fruits are how? Are with cash. Therefore, since you didn't pay cash yet, the assignment are the ones that are going to gain. So, what happened? It goes down in value. Meaning, the same are going to gain on both angles. They're not going to be more stringent than Hektish. Am Shechu Lei Peiri Liyasmi continues the Braisa that when the Apetropis brings the produce from the seller for the orphans, now the other way. Let's say they're buying something for the Yisayim. 
It's different than not going to have to pay the higher value. Zol, sorry, me, I don't have a chalai bar idi. But what if it goes down? We think this is a chalai bar idi, and therefore they should get the lower value. So, Amr Le Rav Sheesh is Brader Rav Idi. Ha Rahi. No, this is no good. Ha Rahi. This is bad for the assignment. Why? There are going to be times that the assignment are going to need payrolls. And no one is going to be willing to give the assignment payrolls until they give cash. Because they're all going to be nervous of this then. And therefore, we can't allow that the assignment are going to gain if it goes down in value for the, eventual, the eventuality that one day they're going to lose out. Continues the Gemara, Yavi Yasmi Zuzi. Once the assignment give the money, but the opposite, they didn't do the Mashiach yet, they didn't pull the produce yet. Aperi, Zol, if it goes down the value, it cannot be greater than Aktish. And therefore, just like any regular person can retract until you picked up, picked up the item, so do that. Yaker, if it goes up, so I think this dinner of Chanev, no. Again, this is not good for them. Why is it not good for them? As we turn over to Nunbeis Amir Beis, because the seller is going to come to tell the assignment, your wheat has burnt in the attic. If they don't actually take the physical possession of the item, then what's going to happen? The seller are not going to actually care that uh, something might happen to it. And therefore, we have to make it that, even though maybe in dinner it would seem otherwise, but that they're going to be considered taking rishos even before they did the actual Meshicha. And we continue, we are on the second line. Pardon, I'm just trying to get the page up for everyone. There we go. Says the Gemara, Yavu lehu zuzi liasmi aperi. Again, a similar case. The one who bought gave the assignment money for produce. Now again, they're buying it from the assignment in this case. But they didn't pay, uh, excuse me, they didn't take the pay risk yet. Iyakar went up in value. Says the Gemara, It went down in value. For the third time, four lines down, five lines down in the base of the base. They need the cash like a and they're not gonna get no one's gonna advance in the money before they take the produce. So three times of Khani we thought would have taught us that we could be Mako and the Yasemim would win. But three times of Shisha Bridge Ravidi comes along and says, No, be careful, because if you don't take into account what's gonna happen in the future, people are going to not treat the assignment correctly, you never be able to get the halva, they never be able to get the pay rise, etc. And we conclude this portion of the Gemara. Amar Rav Ashi says, Rav Ashi, Anov Rav Kana Chasmina Nashtara Diime. Rav Kana and I signed as Edim on a star written by the mother of whom this Ira Yasmi, Zira the Yasam, the Mizamni Ira the Karga, who sold Ziri's land to pay for the taxes, the head tax. But he didn't announce that he's selling the land. Because the people in Ardai said, These are three things that you're allowed to sell the land of the assignment, even without prior notice, even without uh, announcing that you're making the sale. And that is the story of that which uh, Rav Ashi and Rav Kahanda themselves acted in that manner. And we continue in the Gemara. Amram is Sabah. We're at the two dots, well, 12 lines down. Nun beis, amid beis. More stories involving Yisayimim and Apachapas. Amram is Sabah, Apachapas, the Asmi Avoy. He was an Apachapas. Aslu, Kraven, the Kamid Ram Nachman, the Rav says, came from Ram Nachman, Amr Leika, Lavish. This Amram Sabah is doing what? Is getting dressed. O Mechzei, me ask me, and he's clothing himself. With the money of the assignment, they accused him that he's embezzling the funds for himself. Amr lo, Rav Nachman says to the relatives, Ki echi, just like, Tilishtamo mili, mili. He does this so that they will hear his words. Meaning, he's not just Stam getting dressed up fancy. He's getting dressed up fancy so that, that people will listen to him. If you look hush, people will listen to him. So it wasn't for no reason he's allowed to do this. But the relatives weren't happy. They continued and said, but no, this guy Amram is eating and drinking lavishly on Medidu from the assignment. But 
He's not really wealthy enough to the living the lifestyle. He's less than living. So the relatives again accused him. Says the Gemara, Imra Mitziashkech. How do you know? Maybe he found some money. Number three, Vakam Afsid. The relative said, but he's damaging the properties. Amr Lahos from Nachman said, Aisli Sadi. Okay, now you're talking. Bring me witnesses, the Mafsid, that he's indeed causing the field to be lost. Vasal Kinu, and then we'll remove him from being the Abba Chabas. Amr Ravuna, Chavrim Mishmei, Tirav, Abba Chabas, the Mafsid, Vasal Kinu Lay. If he's being negative, if he's ruining the field, being the first three Tainos, there are reasons he got dressed nicely. Or maybe he's eating his own food. Or maybe that's how he's living. But now you're telling me that he's... Now you're... Actually, in the first two. Now you're telling me that he's actually damaging? Okay, that you need Adem, and we're going to remove him. It's that we do a remove an Apachabas who acts in a negative fashion on behalf of the Yisayimim, that is grounds for his job to be lost. He's no longer going to be the Apachabas of those Yisayimim. And we continue about 12 lines down at the two dots, quoting the Mishnah. And the Mishnah dealt with the Shavua of the Apachapis. And whether the Apachapis swears, specifically if the father appointed him, said the Tanakama, or said Abashal the opposite, specifically if Baz didn't appoint him. So says the Gemara, my time, what is the reason for the Tanakama that if the father appointed him, he will swear? He loved this, the father will have never appointed him Abachapis unless. He had some benefit. And we don't have to be worried that if we make him swear, he's going to refrain from being an Apachabas. Obviously, he holds in dear desire the father. Continues the Gemara, Yishava. Why? Because you know why? Because he's doing a favor. He's not doing Bezdin a favor. And Bezdin tells him, yes, sir, swear. People are going to say, what do I need this setting? I'm doing a chesed. I'm being an Abachavis for Bezdin. Now they're making me machan, me meshuga. I've started making a shvua. I don't need this setting. On the flip side, Abashal, I'm a chilvat varim the opposite. Says the Gemara, my time, where does Abashal come from? Menua Bezdin Yishava, why? Bahu and Adaka and Afrika, like, call all the Inish Mehandu. You know why? Because everyone knows that you're an Abba Chabas Abedzin. Everyone knows you're a trustworthy guy. Because of that, because Bezin relied upon you. So, so now if Bezin says make a Shvua, you're not going to be deterred because you got a tremendous benefit. The people believe that you're credible. That's the two uh, diametric opposed ideas in the Mishnah when if we would give a Shvua only for if the father opposed uh, pointed him because we don't have to be worried that he's in refrain says Tanikama because obviously they're friends but if Bezin did then no or on the flip side the exact opposite if Bezin did it then people know he's chashif. So therefore, he's not going to refrain. But for the father, it must have been a little flavor, favor, and therefore he won't. Um, and I'll refrain. And finally, we conclude. Tanya Brahi, so the first white line. Rabbi Lezer ben Yaakov, Aymer Zev Zayishava. Rabbi Lezer ben Yaakov said both. And Abba Chavah's by Bezdin or the father swear. And that's what we pass in. Tana Rav Tachlifa bar Marava kamed Rav Avua. Abba Chavah shemu avi Yisai mi Yishava. Mene shu noise ischar. Amr le at Isis Kaba vekal Yislei. Aleim of neishu kid noise ischar. Didn't really get wages. Now obviously... We all could realize that the previous Gemara was a bit of a stira. A moment ago we said we passed like Abba Shal, which is like the end of the Mishnah, that if the father appoints, you do not swear Bezdin yet. Now we're quoting a Gemara that the Gemara is saying, Vlazbin Yaakov is saying, Zevze Yishava, Valacha Kedeva Rav. And um, it's really how the Gemara is concluding. The Gemara is not really explaining. Gemara is not really Gemara is not really explaining the reason for this chilek, but it's just we're ending off saying that the last price is not mamish noise ischar, it's not mamish receiving payment for his services, but rather kin noise ischar, and which of course bolsters those prices, and we'll pick it up for the Mishnah, but see the in the next year.